Hey gun people! Looking for some computer wizard uh, HTML dude. So when people look at this is the web page, and if you notice, it's off my uh, I own the domain of uh, thinklikeahorse.org. So I just made a page and called it All About Guns. Well, that's what my uh, YouTube used to be, and now I want it to be Think Like a Cop. But I don't want to have to go back and change all these links in order to go here. So I went online and they said, well, if you just put this forward, every time they click on, any time they hit a link, it'll automatically send them to think like a cop HTML. So I tried that. The only problem is all my shortcuts, like uh, all these little things right here, when you click, if I click on, let's say, gunshots to hand, it'll automatically bring you, because I put a line in the code that brings you to this area. Well, those don't work when I forward it to think like a cop. So, it forwards it to think like a cop, but it doesn't do it. So, uh, and for those that don't understand what HTML looks like, if you want to see what the code is to write this page, you right click, and then you click Q, uh, view page source, right there it says view page source, and it will open up a link, and this is basically what my web page, this is all the HTML code that I have to type in order to add something. So if I want to add something, these are all the shortcuts. So in order to get to my Glock Armor manual, it automatically brings you to 19. Deadly Force case law, if you type uh, pound sign Deadly Force, it'll bring you to that area. And then when you go down to a certain area, I know this is kind of Greek to most people, so they don't really care. But So right here it says page, paragraph, name, number two. So whatever number two is going to bring you here. So this says a picture of my younger days in Vallejo. If I go back up to here, where this code is that I wrote, if I look for the number two for the shortcut here, here's shortcut four, five, six, seven, eight. If I keep going down, I will find a number two right there, and it says old pictures of me. So when you click on this little button here in my page, it brings you to that. So all these little uh, paragraphs and things mean something. And uh, I had some guy change this because I had it written on another uh, page before I got thinklikeahorse.org. And he put it in some computer and it made all these generator codes, style, layout. And he made it look like it looks right now. So I don't change any of that. But if I need to update something, I can update it. Now the thing that gets me is all these divs. I don't understand all that class, content, wrapper, whatever. So whatever I did, you notice this page here looks normal. And it's got my pictures and I know how to center it. And it's got all my stuff on my web page. The dude that was shot 33 times with a 9 mil, which is why I crack on 9 mils. Um, so this is all my propaganda basically for my gun page. So, and I usually put this link in, in my uh, website. Um, where I explain all this. So, this page, this page right here is okay. I've got the code when I want to add something, I just go to the bottom and I add something and I put a link. That's no problem. I understand all that. But on one of my horse anatomy pages, I was changing some of the stuff and somehow I deleted or did something and I had to just make all these center because I couldn't find out how to fix the page. It was putting crap all... And at the end, hey, I just gave the horses hey, I got hay in my nose. At the end, hey, oh, excuse me. At the end there, it ended up with this crap. And I don't know what happened here. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know how to redo it. Uh, if I go to view page source and I go to the end, I'm trying to figure out what causes it. I'm assuming it's one of these header, footers, divs. I, there's a page, there's a website I went to that said how to find extra divs or uh, any closures. Because every time you put a slash, that closes a div. If you notice at the front, like right here, this says a start div. So when you start something in HTML, you have to close it with a slash. So one of these divs got either messed up or something happened. And I don't know, this page has errors now, and I don't know how to fix it. So... 
anybody that's a guru that might have a HTML code program that you could run my page through and it would find errors, correct it, and then maybe when I type my pages, I always go to WordPad and this is the page and what it looks like without all the colors. So this page right here is what this looks like on a source code. So, uh, but mine doesn't have all the colors. So when I'm editing and doing stuff, I just open a WordPad document. So if anybody has a program that they could fix or clean up my website and find shit that doesn't need to be there or that's extra or that I'm screwing up. Another thing that I got a lot of errors on is my images. When I put an image, they're saying all these are errors because it doesn't have an ALT. Now I thought an ALT was something that I didn't need, so I didn't put it on any of my images. But for some reason, when I run this through an error page, it says all your images don't have the prefix ALT, which I'm not sure how that would change or what that means, but the less errors I have, the easier the page loads. So somebody that's a, 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 a code writer more than me, because I'm just like a code writer hack, I just add stuff that's already there. If I want to find out how something's done, I find it on one of my pages, I copy it, and then I move it to another page, and then I change the words, and I leave all the code the same. So, uh, man, that would really be appreciated if there's a free program out there that'll do this. I'm assuming there's one that has to be paid that you have to buy. If somebody has it, if they could run a couple of my pages through if I had errors and could find errors, that would be great. I mean, these are all my different pages over here on the left. I don't know, I might have 20 or... Uh, if I go to my uh, page here where they're at, these are all my HTML pages. So I've got all these, and I've labeled them index 1, 2, index 3. Index 1 is the primary page. And then I started naming them after I figured I could name something else, Opposition Reflex. And uh, then when I was doing the Opposition Reflex, uh, it started putting these dashes. I had to put dashes. I couldn't put them a straight word. So, I mean... There's a few things that I just don't know about writing code, but if somebody's got a program that would fix all this, looks like I got 33 pages, and then plus these pages I have here uh, are little extra pages. But anyway, uh, if anybody can help, great. If you can give me some suggestions on how to clean up the div or open divs. I mean, I went through each div and I did a search, and I found an open and a close, open and close. But the ones at the top and the ones at the bottom... I removed some spaces. I don't know if spaces matter. I was told it didn't, but I don't know if that's where I screwed it up. Anyway, uh, any help would be appreciated for any of my uh, code or writers out there that could help me clean up my pages. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.